Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Just Rolled In. This customer came in because they said this happened to their tires a couple of days after the shop installed their winter tires, but that was four months ago. This customer came in because their transmission overheated after they serviced the transmission themselves. The technician found that the customer drained the transmission fluid and filled the coolant reservoir with transmission fluid instead of the transmission. Customer came in complaining that their speakers aren't working. The head unit turns on but there's no sound so I checked the fuse for the amp and it's blown. And as soon as I put a new one in, it blew again. So I come over here but to check the amp. And I think I found your problem, sir. That's a that's a rotting pumpkin that is leaking, causing your amp to short out. This customer came in after they apparently hit a falcon while driving 90 miles per hour. Customer states they have a slight vibration at highway speeds. This customer was told they needed a new rear differential. The customer ordered one and said they would keep driving the vehicle until parts arrive. But unfortunately, now they need a transfer case as well. But now you need a transfer case. This customer said they just had work done at another shop and now they have a leak. The technician thinks that the other shop used a floor jack on the rear differential which cracked the case in. And this BMW just came in for an oil change, and the technician found the serpentine belt to be broken, which the customer never mentioned anything about or the battery light being on. This car came in for an inspection and the technician noticed that the lower control arm was welded together. The technician said the customer luckily approved all the repairs that his vehicle needed. Customer states power trunk stopped working. The technician said this is a really common problem on these vehicles and it's caused by the floor wiring harness breaking where it runs along the trunk lift arm from opening and closing the trunk. Since it's under warranty, the technician is replacing the whole harness that goes from the front doors to the rear bumper. This clip was sent in from a viewer of an older spare tire he removed from a vehicle. He said that he's never seen a tire do this before. The last and final update of this Jeep that a customer took off-road in and afterwards it wouldn't start. The technician got it back together and said the bill came to $18,000 in parts and labor. A viewer sent in this photo of the market adjustment he saw in a brand new 2022 Ford Lightning. Then I did a search online and found this EV Hummer that had a market adjustment of a whole lot more. If you've enjoyed this video, please consider leaving a like or subscribing, and you can submit your clips at justrolledinyt.com. Thanks for watching.